My name's Lincoln, and for the past five years I've been creating procedural animation systems. With two full-length courses on the topic with over 10,000 students, YouTube tutorials teaching the techniques, and various tools and experiments. This is my application for an EPIC Mega Grant to further the development of Motion Rig, which is a modular and procedural animation system. Motion Rig is based around a concept I'm calling Relational Motion, where movements influence each other through a series of connections. Let's take a look at an example of a specific setup that could be created for a character. The offset of a foot relative to the body drives the ankle rotation. And the distance between both of the feet adds a twist to the pelvis, which is then countered by a rotation of the upper body. And while this is going on, there is another parallel chain influencing the motion. When a foot is lifted, it is no longer supporting the hip, so we have a connection which drops the pelvis on that side. This tilt is then compensated for by a rotation of the spine. There are many other connections that can be added in. For example, the movement of the feet causes the up and down motion of the pelvis. This then translates to the shoulders to add secondary motion. Just for fun, let's tweak the strength of some of these connections. Each of these connections can have delays, randomization, and different interpolation speeds and are all dynamic allowing them to change depending on the current animation or character state. And by setting up these connections we haven't just created one animation, we've created a framework for movement. So when the character is put into a new situation their response is unique and dynamic but their motion retains a consistent style. In this example, just by having one foot higher than the other, the pelvis has more up and down motion, it's tilted more when favouring the left side, and the timing of the steps has changed. And this timing difference impacts the swing of the pelvis, which makes the counter swing of the upper body more pronounced. This isn't requiring any state switching to specifically account for this scenario, it just naturally arises from the system that we've already set up. The system can be combined with physics simulations, as you're seeing here, where the foot placement system tries to balance the character, and it also works seamlessly with keyframed or motion captured animation. But this isn't just for character locomotion. I believe that in the future, animations will be keyframed relative to dynamic inputs, where the animator will have full control over how the input influences the animation. But they won't just be creating blends as with regular animation curves, they'll be keyframing the parameters and limits of procedural systems. For example, temporarily reducing the step distance of the feet whilst the character recovers from a jump animation, or controlling how accurately the character looks towards the player. There are a lot of moving pieces and the main challenge when bringing them together is to make it easy to quickly set up a modular chain for a character, but flexible enough to be used for any purpose. There's no reason that this same system cannot work equally well for running, climbing, hands for object interactions, and anything else that you might think up. The goal is to make it simple to quickly create a unique motion framework for a character, but still with the ability to dive in and add custom logic or new parameters to control. So there will be a lot of UI work to do, as well as further research and development of the system, but hopefully you see the potential of this project. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.